I grew up with no TV, no radio. I did not know what radio was. Um, I grew up with never seeing a movie. I'm Frida Weisel. I grew up in the Sapmar community and I'm now a tour guide in Hasidic Williamsburg. I personally don't think that the secular community is doing a good job of telling the community's story and in part because this community doesn't want to tell their story. We have such a different way of looking at things that it's really hard to get into the minds of members of this community. There's always a sense of if there's technology, how can we make sure that we remove anything that's dangerous from it? This is a cell phone shop in New York City and what they are selling, what they're advertising is a flip phone. The first and most reputable firm in the kosher phone industry. Email communication with absolutely no browsing capabilities. I think that our community is still divided by those who are proponents for having access to a smartphone, having access to unify with other people of different backgrounds to come up with new ideas and new perspectives, and then the others who are just anti, anti, anti to the point where like a phone is literally the symbol of super saturated evil. There aren't that many Orthodox Jewish females who are in the spotlight, reaching for their camera and showing their face. Guys, why should I take the steps? That's way too boring. Let's show them how we roll, right? Right here, here we go. Farewell. I think that divide is slowly melting because it's becoming impractical to live without a phone. It's gotten into a lot of the community. It's caused a divide. Um, there's like the haves and the have-nots. And, and you don't even know who they are. It, within the same family, there are people making the decision to use smartphones, and there are people making the decision not to use smartphones. Flappish Girl is the character that I play to entertain an audience, create social commentary, to unify a very fragmented community. Managing Flappish Media is maintaining clients, managing their social media presence for their business, ensuring that their end of the month sales are increasing. That occurs by me managing a group of people, my team, who make that happen. Did you understand that when we use an influencer, someone who's popular on Instagram, we post it in both places? One of my favorite kinds of businesses to come into and introduce to social media are the men, the owners, who don't have access to smartphones, who don't use the internet, who don't use email. It's such a foreign place for them. I always have in mind, and we always have in mind, like your voice. It's a sage, it's someone who is wise, someone who has a lot of information to give to the customer. But for the males that I do interact with who do have WhatsApp, who do have Instagram, who do have email, it's kind of a difficult task to maintain my sense of power. I need to kind of bring this alpha dog nature and it takes a lot of fight out of me. Okay, this is the issue. You do the photography lishma because you want to help Mr. Freund. Don't mistake your inability to ask them for more money with being passive aggressive towards me for me benefiting off of that inability. No, I hear, I hear you. It comes down to like in a ten dollars a photo. I really appreciate it. I really do. All right. Thank you, AJ. Okay. We'll be in touch. Okay, bye bye. In the summertime, I placed a thank you ad to one of the senators for being so active in the community and trying to clean up the community and clean up graffiti. That paper rejected the ad because my face was in it. They'll show females, but they'll, they'll blot out the face, they'll pixelate the face. Looking back on the way in which I was schooled in the female school system, it's how can the females service the males, how can the females perpetuate bigger growth amongst families and amongst the community to further the klal. It's a Hebrew word for the whole. All Orthodox Jews know who she is. Adina can't even really walk down the street like, Flappish girl! Adina and I are of the opinion that if you just allow yourself to be an individual and a person and people see you as an individual as a person, they could choose to accept you or not. 
not gonna help me? You're just gonna sit there reading? Get up and help me! Sit down! I really don't feel comfortable, please. Get over here! Quickly, I'm gonna get a thousand likes on this! It's so embarrassed. Hurry up! Okay, sit on deck. Mayor de Blasio, I just yes. have a question for you. Yes? Would you ever consider converting to Judaism and then <laughs> changing your name to mayor so you could be mayor You're mayor? mayor. I saw that coming! Mayor. Most of my haters are female. They see someone going against what we were raised to do. It's almost like we were all in like the slumber of, yeah, that's just the way it is. They're just girls are not in magazines. Like, that's just it. Some of the messages that I get have even bordered into threats of physical harm, threats of physically harming my children. And we're just trying to be people. We're not trying to be Orthodox Jews first. Sometimes we do things very Orthodox Jewy, right? Because we can't lose that identity and we're very proud of that identity. And it's a classic picture of the story of Purim in which Mordechai watched as um, the people in, I guess, Shushan were bowing as if they were, were worshiping idols. And this is not supposed to have a smartphone in the middle, but someone cropped a smartphone into it. And the message is very clear that if you engage with your smartphone, then it's like idol worship. Often the argument has been the Nushim Tzitkunias, the women, the, the pious women, are closer to the children, to the next generation. It's more important to keep them pure. What's it called? Um, uh, I don't know. A symbol. A symbol. Say symbol. I always have this joke that we like to be like 10 years behind on things, like 10 years behind on fashion, 10 years behind on technology, even like the thought process because everything gets filtered. And it, it has worked very well for the community. But the question is how will they embrace it? Will they embrace it? How will they learn to deal with it? Because they haven't learned yet. You are you. This is your one shot at life. You can't be on your deathbed and say, oh, I was there for my family, I was there for my kids. I was there for my parents, I was there for the community. Were you there for yourself? That's kind of what I wanna achieve with my audience.